Hello and welcome to another topic lesson. Now, this week we're going to be learning about Greek foods. Do you know any Greek foods already? Pause the video, have a chat with the grown-ups or the people in your house and have a little think. Press play when you're ready to continue. Okay, let's take a look at some of the Greek foods that were eaten in ancient Greece. Finding a great meal in ancient Greece would have been very easy. They ate a variety of delicious dishes, some of which are still around today. Most Greeks were farmers and they ate the food that they grew. Since Greece had a mild climate, they were able to grow many different fruits and vegetables as long as they got enough rain. Vegetables were a huge part of the Greek diet. Most Greeks ate a diet that was almost vegetarian. Among the most common vegetables and plants eaten by Greeks were asparagus, fennel, cucumbers, chickpeas and celery. They also gathered and boiled dandelions to eat. The bulbs of certain plants, such as an iris, were also edible. They even ate stinging nettles. Perhaps the most important food to the ancient and modern Greeks was the olive. It was not simply a food, it was also a big part of Greek history. Greeks believed that the goddess Athena gave the first olive tree to Athens before it eventually spread to the rest of Greece. Olives were used in many recipes. Olives were also crushed and their oil was used for lamps. Olive oil could also be used as a beauty product. Women rubbed into their skin to make it soft and shiny. Ancient Greeks didn't eat much meat, but since Greece is surrounded by water, fish were easy to get. Many varieties were available in the markets. Many Greeks thought of eating meat as something that barbarians did. The Greeks believed that they were more civilised than that. As a result, they hardly ate meat at all. OK, so that's just a little bit of information. Now, let's take a look at an ancient Greek daily diet. So let's start with breakfast. Most, most ancient Greeks had the same thing for breakfast. Bread dipped in wine. The bread was made from barley the main source of all bread in ancient times. It was probably hard, which is why the Greeks would dip it in the wine to soften it up and make it easier to eat. The Greeks also ate something called taganites, which resembles a pancake. These were made with wheat flour, olive oil, honey and curdled milk, and usually topped with honey or cheese. Let's look at lunch. So for lunch, the Greeks would eat bread and wine during their midday meal. But the Greeks would drink a bit more of the wine versus simply dumping, dunking bread into it. Lunch was considered a midday snack, so it was common for the Greeks to dine on relatively light foods like figs, salted fish, cheeses, olives and more bread. And finally, let's take a look at what the Greeks would have for dinner or tea. Dinner was still and is the most important meal of the day in Greece. In ancient times, it was when everyone would gather with friends, not family, and discuss things like philosophy or maybe just daily events. Men and women normally ate separately. If a family had slaves, the slaves would serve the men dinner first, then the women then themselves. If the family didn't have slaves, the women of the house served the men first and then they ate when the men were finished. Dinner was, Dinner was when most of the foods were consumed. The ancient Greeks would eat eggs from quail and hens, fish, legumes, olives, cheeses, bread, figs and any vegetables they could grow, which might include Aragula, asparagus, cabbage, carrots, 
and cucumber. Meats were reserved for the wealthy. Okay, so that leads on to your task for today. Now, today's task is to create a plate full of Greek foods. You could use pencil, you could use paint, you could use pens, clay, Play-Doh or anything. Use the information that you've already listened to to create a Greek plate full of foods, Greek foods. An extra challenge. Now, this bit is really important, so please make sure you ask a grown-up's permission or you ask a grown-up, speak to a grown-up in your house. It says, if you have any Greek foods at home, maybe you could try some. So you might have some olives at home. You might have some Greek cheese at home. You might have some sort of Greek food at home that you could maybe try if you ask an adult. Make sure you take lots of pictures and send these to your class teacher along with any home learning that you do. We love to see your home learning. Good luck and I will see you next week for another topic lesson. Bye for now.